Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on Ark, but we're doing things a little different today. If you guys do enjoy the video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and of course, feel free to subscribe, ring the notification bell, but I actually want to go through the basics of Ark, starting with the loading screen. Now I'm going to go with the super, super basic stuff, um, because for someone who's never played the game, it can be a bit confusing, especially someone who hasn't played this type of game or game with lots of servers and things like that. So I'm going to take it from the very beginning and try to work our way through a lot of the basics um, in a bunch of different videos, not all in one because there's way too much for that. So when you first log in, this is what you see. As far as I know, when it's going to be released on August 8th, I don't think it's going to be much different. They might do some updates and whatnot, but for the most part, this is what you're going to get. So when you see it here, uh, you obviously have different options. Survival guide, options, sure, credits, whatever. But the two main things you want to look at is join arc or host local. If you host slash local, you can actually do a single player game or a game uh, just with somebody that you invite and you can host it. However, the server goes down when obviously you get off the game as well as when you're playing that way, uh, people can only stay very close to you. Uh, but you also have the option for this procedurally generated arc. And that is a map that is procedurally generated. So it's brand new, fresh map to the game that nobody's ever seen before theoretically. And uh, you can go ahead and click that to do a server like that. Uh, however, let's get out of here and just do a regular joint arc because there are a number of different servers to choose here because it's a huge massive list and you have filters down here at the bottom. First thing we're going to look for is official. Official servers are going to be just your standard servers ran by arc uh, and you're going to see different maps and whatnot. There's uh, four different maps available right now. There's Ragnarok, the newest one, the island, which is the original map, the center, which is also just another awesome map. And then Scorched Earth with the ex is the expansion map. Um, you also have options at the top. You have just Arc maps and just Scorched Earth maps. The reason that's separate is because it is an expansion uh, and there's a little bit different things that go on there. Definitely cool, definitely worth checking out if you do have the expansion, um, but I feel like it doesn't have the same longevity as a regular Arc server. So you can search by those or combine them both. You can also search by PVP servers where everyone's gonna murder your face or PVE, which is a nice more relaxing game uh, way to learn the game. But the downside of that is you can't destroy other people's buildings. So if someone's built where you wanna build, you are out of luck. You also have the option for different types of servers within official servers. There is hardcore. Hardcore servers, which apparently are coming up right now for me. Uh, actually, once you die, you are dead and that is it. And there are some official ARC hardcore servers that are out. There is also then extinction servers. Extinction. Now, extinction servers, if it ever finds any of the things I'm looking for, which would be great. There we go. There's currently one, it says. Eh, it's probably more than one. It's still looking, but it's having trouble finding them. Extinction servers wipe the entire server after one month. So you have one month to do everything you want, uh, and then it all gets wiped and destroyed and you start over. A cool concept, and I believe all the ones that are currently up are all on procedurally generated servers. At least that's all the ones that I saw when I looked earlier. Um, I've never played on one of these uh, because I like to keep my stuff longer than a month. And there is also a primitive server. Now, primitive servers have different rules. Um, you can see they're on a different maps. Here they go, they're all loading in now. Um, they have a little bit different crafting things. Uh, you don't have like electricity on these and whatnot. Things are a little more back to basics, uh, back to like really survival. So you can't build like these huge, crazy, insane electricity and turrets and all that. But uh, this is an option for people who like to do primitive. There's also hardcore primitive, uh, as you can see here. If you do want to get past those, you can actually go to unofficial servers. Unofficial servers are ran by people. Someone hosts a server or pays to have a server hosted. And there are a million of these suckers. Um, you can just click on one randomly that doesn't have a password if you want, or you can look, go on the forums and whatnot, find something that has the rules you want. The benefits of these is, you know, well, they are ran by someone. So if you do know who that is or want to play with friends uh, or want to run a server yourself, you have that option. But also you can load mods onto it, uh, which you have a million options with mods. There's things that give better weapons, higher level dinos, different maps, different everything. Just absolutely everything you can think of probably exists in a mod uh, and everyone's got a server for it. Specifically for that, almost guaranteed. Also the rates are higher. Like you can see with this particular one, it says 10 times taming, which means things tame up 10 times faster, two times experience, two times resource gathering. So there's a lot of good options with that. For our sake right now, we are going to load into a 
solo server uh, so we can kind of check out stuff on our own, be able to use admin codes just to take out, test out the basics uh, without having to worry about rules or being on someone's server. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so once you do join a server, you're gonna be presented with this screen, the character creation screen. And much like any character creation screen, you can move these little sliders to make things look different. <laughs> you can choose male or female. You have the options. Uh, you got all sorts of skin colors and hair colors and eye colors. And, and uh, one thing I do like about Ark is you can make uh, characters look ridiculous, um, which a lot of games I feel like definitely lack. Uh, you can make them definitely like, uh, uh. oh yeah. Um, Anyway, so you can go to play with this and come out with something that you really like. And whatever it is, that is what it's going to be forever. So pick good. There's no way to change it in the game currently. This is our guy. So once you pick him, uh, pick what you guy, want your guy to look like, then you have to pick a zone. And there are all these different zones. And it shows you where the on it is. And luckily, it does have this nice little, these are easy spots. These are medium spots. And these are hard spots. So if this is your first time, I definitely do recommend a spot that is easy or maybe medium. Like, for instance, this one's called medium. That's where I started the first time I played. And it was a great spot but it really depends and uh, there's gonna be nothing wrong with changing where you're gonna be later because you're gonna be moving all over this place. And we will name this guy Obadiah and we'll go ahead and join the server, but I wanna show you guys what happens after you get in in the next video. So for today, guys, that is gonna be it. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't already. You can also check me out on all your social medias, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Google, Plus, the whole deal, Snapchat, I'm also on Patreon, and I have a Streamlabs tip jar in the description below if you are interested. But anyways, guys, for today, that is going to be a Check out the next video for the next step in the tutorials. But for today, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. Until next time, I will. See you later.